What's up beauties? Welcome back to my channel. I have a review for you guys on some She Scented products that I purchased last November for Black Friday. Um, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I've spent quite a bit of time with these products since it's almost been a year and so I have a really good idea of how I feel. We're going to start off in the order that one would wash their hair and so we're going to jump right into the She Scented Papaya Scalp Renewing Shampoo. It's a sulfate free cleanser. It says it's for all hair types. It has papaya lemon, and lemongrass extracts. This is an 8.5 fluid ounce bottle. And in the age old struggle against dandruff dry scalp, consider this shampoo your, your savior. Uh, papaya scalp renewing shampoo. Papaya scalp renewing shampoos uh, unique formula packs all the right ingredients for a healthy scalp and hair. In the end, it leaves you with hair that is clean without being stripped of its natural oils and a scalp that is free of uh, free to breathe. So those are the claims essentially of this product in the description of it. It looks like this. This is the packaging. So what I'll say about this product, let's just quickly go over some things. We talked about the claims, we talked about the description, we talked about, let's talk about the price. This is roughly about $14. Um, all the sheet scented products that I purchase are anywhere between $13.99 and $16.99, depending on what the product is. This particular one, I think it was about $13.99. It might have been a little bit cheaper, but not much. Uh, the texture of the product is very watery. I'm sorry, it's completely gone. It's empty. This is an empty container, um, and I haven't repurchased. This is one of the items that I did not repurchase. Uh, it was very runny in consistency, not thick at all. Um has decent slip not something that you can go in and like you know semi de uh, excuse me uh, detangle with but not an awful product just not something that i would run to as far as uh, shampoos are concerned uh the, so we talked about the consistency let's talk about the smell on this thing a little bit here it has a really nice papaya scent to it i like it if you're not big on scents you may not enjoy it just simply because it does have that papaya fragrance to it. Uh, I don't know if it's an artificial fragrance. I'm Well, it has to be, right? It's papaya. Um, the ingredients in all of these products are, of course, amazing because uh, it's she scented. It's a natural brand. I will link with the description or the I will link the ingredients below for this particular product. But all in all, I thought it was OK. Um, it was nice to try it out. I didn't it didn't take me very long to finish it because it is so watery in consistency so by the time I used it three or four or five times I was already like more than halfway through with the bottle uh, and of course if I ended up using it on my daughters then that was gonna be that but uh, the pros for this particular product is that it is a natural product uh, I do like the scent uh, the cons are that I don't know if I can say that it left my hair it didn't leave my hair feeling clean um, and it didn't feel stripped, but it also didn't feel as though it wasn't stripped. It was, it, I did, I do remember when I would rinse the product out, there was that, you know, kind of like squeak uh, noise coming from my hair when I would wash it. And I kind of don't like that. I want my hair clean, but I don't want it to feel like there's absolutely nothing left inside of it. And so that is kind of how I felt with this. So that's kind of a con for me. Uh, let's see what else does it say on here. And that your scalp is free to breathe. I don't feel like this is anything does anything special for the scalp. There's there's no mint or menthol or anything in it to kind of cleanse and really detoxify the scalp. And it doesn't say it's a detoxifying scalp shampoo, but it does claim to be like a scalp renewing shampoo. And I don't feel like there's any scalp renewing properties to this particular shampoo. So that's a con for me. I would not repurchase this simply because there's better ones on the market, especially like from Shea Moisture that I can get on the ground and not have to pay shipping for this. So um, that's a big deal for me. Uh, would I recommend it to someone? Not necessarily. I mean, I feel like if I'm not going to use it, why would I recommend it? And if I don't even, if I, if I use something and then think to myself, oh, I didn't love that, but I would still recommend it, there's going to be other reasons behind it. I just feel like there's better products on the market and this isn't definitely, this is necessarily one that you would want to go spending your money on. So no, I wouldn't recommend it. Here are the co-wash packaging. Now, last year, my big push for my hair was co-washing. I wanted to get back to co-washing. So what I do with co-washing is I don't like, 
I don't only co-wash. I'll go in with a shampoo first and then I'll go in after with something with a co-wash. And then that, that'll be like my second cleansing process. I'll rinse it. And if the co-wash is really good, I can detangle all at the same time. And that's my jam, which is why I ended up repurchasing these. So this is probably, especially the green tea and ginseng co-wash, which is a cult favorite from She Sent It. I ended up purchasing this three times already. I love it. Uh, the blueberry co-wash, I really like this one also. If I had to pick between the both of them, I'd go with this one. I don't know what it is. It's probably the ginseng in it. I just feel like I get a better clean from this. But this blueberry co-wash is jamming also. I can detangle with these and I really, really, really appreciate the um, moisture properties that come alongside them also. So let's briefly read the claims on these products. This conditioner contains a unique blend of ingredients that are meant to stimulate your scalp, help to promote natural hair growth and health, ginseng root support, natural blood flow throughout scalp, helping to prevent hair loss, while green tea stimulates and soothes. Hair is fuller, softer, and moisturized. It says it stimulates the scalp, moisturizes and nourishes the hair, helps to promote healthy hair growth. Now I will say this, stimulating the scalp, I didn't get any stimulating proper, like tingling feelings from either one of these products. Uh, actually from none of the co-washes, and I tried at least three different types of the co-washes. Um, co and if you go on her, her website, she has like five to six different types of co-washes. Like there's like I mentioned an oatmeal and then there's something else. It's like several different types. Well, for the green tea and ginseng, I didn't notice anything. And I didn't notice anything for the blueberry and I didn't notice anything for the oatmeal as far as scalp, stimu scalp stimulating um, properties and benefits. Now, what I did notice is that my hair did feel clean. It didn't feel stripped. It felt very, very moisturized. I felt like, you know what, this is definitely leaving some, left some benefit to my hair and leaving something behind. It's coating my strands. I was able to detangle with it, as I mentioned. Um, the smell is really good. This one doesn't smell like green tea or ginseng, but it has a nice, fresh, clean smell. It just smells natural. This one has a slight, very, very slight blueberry scent to it. You would not be able to tell. The oatmeal one had the biggest scent to me as far as, you know, uh, oatmeal types fragrance to it. Other than that, there are, these are some of my absolute favorite products from She Sent It. And if I continue to purchase anything at all from them, it's definitely hands down, would, this would be one of the items. And there's one other product that I absolutely fell in love with that I will repurchase also. But this is awesome. Next, I have two conditioners. Now, one of them, actually both of them, I loved. I repurchased the She Scented Sugar Peach, Sugar Peach Super Moisture or Super Moist Conditioner. It has a weird name. Um, and it looks like this. It's in this pretty pink packaging. I probably purchased this six times. It's literally since last year, I placed multiple orders on She Scented's website. And this was in my cart. I, probably, I think I must have purchased six to eight of these um, and have used them all up they're gone and i also purchased the avocado moisturizing conditioner and this the way it was the way i read it i must have read it wrong because when i read it on their website it was as though i read it as though it was a leave-in conditioner and so the first time i used it that's how i used it and i got the worst beating and flakiness ever but then I started to read the instructions and it said to rescue hair from distress, apply a liberal amount to wet hair. Leave it on for five minutes and or 30 if you have very dry hair and then rinse with warm water. So by that description, this is clearly a rinse out product. This is not a leave in conditioner. Well, I completely left it in like a boo boo foo. So, um, but after I read the description and realized how it was supposed to be used, I quickly fell in love with this product. It is awesome. It has the best slip ever. Like the slip on this is jamming. I love it. The consistency is nice and thick. It's very similar to the co-washes, which are nice and thick and creamy. And it has a really nice smell. It doesn't smell like avocado. It just almost smells like peaches a little bit. It's very natural and lightweight. Nothing too overbearing. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and, the, and just being able to detangle the ease of use that this allowed me when I was detangling was all worth it. It's roughly about $13 to $14 also. I think this one is about $14. It's about 
$14.99. I love this one also. This one is lighter in, in consistency and texture. It's um, it kind of pen this one penetrates quicker, uh, the hair shaft quicker than this one does, than this one does, the avocado. But um, if I had to pick between the two of them, it's, it depends on the state of your hair. If your hair is like in desk, and they kind of do two different things. Like this one, you can leave on. And this one also says the same. Like you can leave it on and uh, almost use it as a deep conditioner a little bit. Uh, and then you can also do the same thing with this one. But this one I find to be thicker in consistency. This one is thinner in consistency. If I had to pick the, if someone says you have to pick one, you can't buy both, you can only buy one, I would buy the avocado. So not to say that this isn't a great product and I wouldn't repurchase it because I totally would. It's just that this one is thinner in consistency. So depending on the needs of your hair, if your hair isn't as thick as mine, if the density isn't as thick, and if you don't have the um, dryness that I tend to experience, then maybe this is just more than enough. And this is very, very, very hydrating to the hair. This one I just find to be a little bit thicker and coats my hair a little bit better. And I have to and I don't have to use as much conditioner when I use this one to get through all my tangles. I have to use a little bit more product when I uh, use this product to get through tangles. So just something to consider between the two of these, but they're great products. Definitely would repurchase both of them. Next on my list is going to be now some styling products. I have the Baobab Curl Enhancer Shake. Looks like this. And it says that it's a lightweight styling cream that provides ultimate hold uh, that leaves curls shapely and defined. Now, I will say this is definitely a styling cream that stands on its own. I tried to use this with a uh, gel for a wash and go. That did not work out for me. It beat it up terribly. Um, I try to use this to do a twist out and the same thing happened because I tried it with a gel. This is a product that you want to use by itself. It has some sort of a gel or some type of a holding property uh, inside of it. I had to like literally email the owner and say, hey, how am I supposed to use this thing? And she was like, stop using the gel, just use it by itself. So when I did that, it worked out well and it doesn't say here, you know, that it, it tells you, it says it's a styling gel that provides ultimate hold. Um, Baobab oil and milk thistle extract deliver intense hydration to feed and strengthen curls while it defines and softens. Curls look defined, shiny, and healthy all day long. I will say this, that is all true. I agree with all of those claims. Um, my only thing is this is something that you may have to re you have to probably refresh in your style with or reuse every three days. So if you're used if you're used to a week long whatever you wear, you know, twist out or something, this may not give it to you as far as moisture is concerned. You might start experiencing moisture loss two days in. That's what I saw. But I would have amazing hair. Like it, the, the twist out or whatever I was wearing was looking, was jamming. It just would dry out on me a lot quicker than I'm accustomed to. The price is roughly the same and we're between $13 to $16. I think this was about $13.99. So um, not badly priced and very uh, consistent with natural hair products on the market. The texture, there is some still left in here as you can see. I'm only about halfway done with the bottle. I will be finishing it. It is a lightweight consistency. Has a really nice peachy smell. I feel like all her products kind of smell the same. And you can see it kind of gets a little white as you rub it in. But then it quickly, um, it will disappear. It smells really good. It is, it's, it's moisturizing. It has great moisture to it when you first put it on your hair and it absorbs into the hair quickly. I don't find that it leaves a whole lot of white residue or anything behind. Uh, like I said, you won't get um, tons of moisture lasting through, you know, days and days and days at a time. That's just not going to happen. Um, with like a one product um, styler that will give you like a nice wash and go or a really good twist out in your uh, hair that doesn't experience as much frizz as mine, then yes, I would recommend this for those hair types. If your hair is frizzier and needs a little bit more control, um, then maybe this wouldn't be the product for uh, that I would recommend. If you do, if, unless you're like a product junkie. If you're a product junkie, junkie, yes. If not, then no. Okay, 
next up is the uh, Cocoa Cream Leave-In Conditioner. This is empty, so we won't talk too, too much about consistency. Um, it has, it is like a pink color, and I killed this, y'all. Like, I literally ran through this thing so hardcore because I loved it so much. I would definitely repurchase it. It is a very, very lightweight product, and let's quickly read the claims. It says, aids in moisture retention, organic botanicals condition hair, and restores uh, suppleness to dry hair. I agree with all that. I loved it. I like blew through this thing. Uh, so yes, I would definitely repurchase it. Like I said, the consistency is really thin. Um, smells, let's see. Mm, smells really good. It smells like cocoa, which is why I was like using it every uh, opportunity I got. It is very reminiscent of the uh, coconut line. The, what is it? The coconut water leave-in conditioner from... Uh, shoot I want to say as I am but that's not right um, Camille Rose very similar to that one love I think that's why I liked it so much because that's like my all-time favorite leave-in conditioner I freaking love it this is very similar to it it like immediately absorbs into the hair your hair drinks it up and um, it's easy to comb through easy to style it's just this is a really good product and you can use it to re-moisturize your hair. So it's really good. I, I would definitely recommend this and I would definitely repurchase it. Next on my list is a leave-in conditioner. Well, this is not leave-in conditioner, excuse me. This is a restorative conditioner, uh, like a deep conditioner. It's the Okra Hair Repair Re uh, Reconstructive Conditioner. Looks like this. All her packaging is really great. And it says that it restores strength to damaged strands uh, organic botanical conditions hair rejuvenates can reconstructs and revives now I will say this every single time I use this and deep condition my hair or my daughter's hair I really feel like our hair comes out stronger and definitely more fortified so I do stand behind the claims of this one this is about I think this one's a little bit pricier I think I paid about $15 for this one uh, the texture on it doesn't have much of a smell at all the texture on it like most of her products are very lightweight there's not a whole lot of um, she doesn't have a lot of heavy products I find so you won't have you'll have a hard time kind of seeing it on my hand right here but it is very lightweight not sticky at all yeah this I it barely has a smell it has a slight smell but it's very 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 faint I can't really smell it at all, but I like it a lot. This is a really good conditioner. If there were, um, this is definitely one of my favorite conditioners. I'd say that. I, if I had, when I repurchased from She Scented, I would throw that in my cart. I'm just throwing that conditioner on my braid. There's no need in wasting good products. <laughs> um, anywho, yes. So I don't have a whole lot to say about that one because it is just, it's just really good. How I use it is, I go in, I, my hair is uh, wet, I'm out the shower, I you know get most of the water out of it, I apply a good amount of it. You don't have to overdo it with this product. You'll find really quickly that it kind of, your hair kind of drinks it up. I throw on a, a shower, or a, yeah, a deep conditioning cap and I use my um, hot head. I've recently, recently purchased a hot head. I've been using it, using it a ton, which has been great for me because now I, I find that I condition my hair a whole lot more often. I throw on my hot head twice, so I usually uh, throw it on after I heat it up the first time and I leave it on for 30 minutes, take it off and do it again. And when I'm done doing that, guys, let me tell you this, my hair feels like a million dollars. It is so soft, so manageable and so fluffy. Now, if you're looking for a deep conditioner that gives you those tight, moisturized looking curls, this isn't it. This kind of fluffs your hair out, which I don't mind. I love that. Uh, it really does. A, I, I love it, especially if I'm going to like straighten my hair or wear a stretch style or something. It almost like it almost acts as though as it, as it, it almost acts as though it is stretching my hair for me, but it doesn't cause any um, manipulation to my curls. It just really fluffs my hair out. So I love this one. Definitely, re definitely would repurchase it, and I would, rec and I would recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know if you've tried any she scented products that you like, which ones you like, which ones you didn't like. If you've tried any of these, let me know what your thoughts were on those. And do not get, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.